obviously I should have left way earlier than that, but I really couldn't have because I can't take my daughter to school earlier than 7.30. That is the earliest that I could drop her off. So I got her to school um, about 7.35 because we live really close to her school and proceeded to go south in the direction that I needed to go. Um, took my boyfriend to work, uh, dropped him off, and then continued on towards Houston to go to this interview. Well, because of traffic, there was a, um, like a dump truck or something stalled on 45 South, um, <clears throat> at Cross Timbers and 610, and it had a whole lane blocked to where traffic was backed up, so I didn't get to this, uh, interview until, like, 9... 30, 940. Uh, so I was extremely late. So I get in there and then they tell me that they would need to reschedule me. So I've wasted uh, about two, two and a half hours of my day to try to get to something when I'm supposed to. Like most jobs, any kind of brick and mortar, Fortune 500, anything like that, you know, you're expected to be where you're supposed to be at that designated time. So, because I couldn't get there in time for no reason or fault of my own, it was simply due to traffic and anybody that lives or knows anything about how Houston traffic works, Houston traffic does not really allow anybody to get anywhere on time unless you leave your house like two hours early. So, unless you just live in Houston and can plan accordingly. I don't live in Houston. I live about an hour north of Houston. So for me to take all that time to get ready this morning to drive the like over an hour it took to get down there and now I'm driving back. So that right there is reason enough for me to <clears throat> just not even see why it's worth my time to go all the way downtown. Granted, I'm not trying to get a job in Houston. That's just where the interview was. But still, like, working from home, I wouldn't have had to drive all the way down here. So, but I did, just as a way to show that, hey, I'm trying to do extra, you know, along with working from home, something to, you know, more steadily supplement my income. So, that's what I was trying to do. And because I was late, I had to be rescheduled, which I wasn't even given a date for a reschedule, so that may not even happen. But I wasted all the gas and my time. I literally just wasted my time to get down there. I had no way to make contact to inform anybody that I was going to be late. Um, I was sent an email with the address and stuff of where it was going to be. And if I needed to reschedule, that I could click the link and stuff um, to log into the little, you know, portal thing and reschedule. But I didn't want to reschedule. I wanted to make sure that I got there today, even though I was running late. I knew that it was possible that they were going to have to reschedule me because of the fact that I was as late as I was. But I drove down there anyway, hoping that maybe they, you know, just, you know, accept it and say okay and still let me like stay even though I was late or <clears throat> something along those lines but that didn't happen they just told me to reschedule and I said okay if you're going to reschedule me I would prefer if at all possible you could reschedule me for uh, another area like the Woodlands or Conroe because that's a lot easier of a commute for me instead of wasting all this time that I just did to drive down here they're, they don't compensate they, they're not going to compensate me for all the gas that I just wasted to drive down here or drive back. I'm not getting compensated for any of that. I literally just wasted a good portion of my morning for nothing. I didn't get paid for that. I didn't get paid to sit in traffic. So I'd rather get paid at home or at the park with my daughter or anywhere that I decide that I want my office to be. So working from home is a lot more worth it than all this time that I just wasted. So if you guys are tired of wasting your time on crap like this, and if y'all saw my rejections video, there's another reason why I'm tired of even looking.
shocking of trying to get just a regular job because of all that. So, but I still try just to help supplement what I'm already earning. So it's, it's a slow process, but it's getting there. Um, you know, just personal things and, you know, getting myself out of debt. So, but that's, that's a whole nother issue. Um, it's just about, you know, I'm trying to earn more money. So it's not that I'm not making money. It's just, I'm always of the mindset that if I can earn more doing something, I'm going to, but this nine to five slaving in traffic, it's not for me. I know it's not for a lot of you. So if you're ready to do something different and change your situation, let me know, uh, comment and, or, uh, message me so I can help get you started because I'm not going to make it a habit of doing this every day, fighting traffic every day to get to a job that I hate away from my family, away from my daughter and taking away my valuable time.